Hi everyone, this is your boy Rude Boy again with another game kind of uh, program and um, I'm here to, I was kind of interested in writing a ga uh, something like a Pac-Man kind of game and I came up with this thing and it became interesting because I wanted to see how I can get the my main interest was getting the ghost to go through this entire grid at a random kind in a random sort of fashion this is my car here or and these I call them ghosts these are the ghosts here this is a 2d type game and the main thing is to get the car to move through the pro the grid and to get the ghost to do a random search throughout the grid this is the code here um, you could just pause and copy it down if you want to I have two versions I'll show you the second one shortly I don't want to keep this program too long alright this is the ghost here and basically I'm going to compile it and run it and the, and the ghosts are going through the grid in a random fashion I can move the car left right up down as I see fit it is like a Pac-Man esque type of game now you see that ghost stall there that's because I haven't handled that position yet so that goes stalled. That's fine. I haven't handled that coordinate yet. You see, when the ghosts get to a certain coordinate in the gap, then it makes a decision whether it wants to go up, down, left, or right. For that particular ghost going down, I didn't handle that condition. So that's why that ghost is stalled there. But the the and ghost, the one that's moving, that one I think is fully covered for all um, coordinates. And that's the one that would end the game if it touches the car. So the ghosts are basically searching in a random pattern. Let's do it again and see. I'm not gonna manipulate the car. Okay, this game's gonna come to an end because they touch. Let's try it again. And they should keep going. I so so you see these ghosts are gonna go through. They're gonna go through each other. The at go if it if the at goes goes all the way to the or it's stalled at the top okay that's because I didn't handle that condition when it gets to that coordinate that condition is not handled yet but it's working pretty good what you want what you don't want to do is make the ghosts the same you're gonna run into a lot of problem there is some glitch in the system if you make the ghost the same if you make two at signs or two and signs for the ghost and you try to track them separately for some reason the system doesn't recognize that they're different and they it tracks them sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so you want to make the ghosts different all right that's that version of the program and I'll show you this version here this code is a little bit more refined um, the way I track the ghost make the decision and it's a little bit more refined okay there are not many gaps in here to work with I purposely did that so that I can quickly move through the program and figure out everything that I have to get done all right. See, this is the the dollar sign, and this is the at sign. 
and basically you can just these two would go through the grid in a kind of a random form I haven't taken care of the situation when the, the ghosts collide so that's why you see like a space there when you see only one ghost so I haven't taken care of that situation but these two move pretty much randomly through this grid pretty much move randomly and they don't stall I was having problems when they were stalling out I did I, I it was giving me a headache and then I just what I did was change one of the goals because they were both at signs I changed one to dollar sign and then it just worked fine so it must mean that the system was just getting confused with the two at sign ghosts but this works great they're going through and searching the grid okay simply when it goes through this point is a specific grid location this is row one column one where my arrow is this is the same thing here this is row one column column 57 here so every time it goes to a row and a column a grid intersection then you make a decision on whether you want it to go up down left right and that's what this code is That's what this code is and when you decide you change the enumeration variable which the ghost depends on you change the enumeration variable to left right up down and there's a, another function which actually does the moving of the ghosts so if it's left if it's right if it's down if it's up this is so that the second part here of the of the um of the argument is saying don't crash through the walls that's basically what this is this star here don't crash through the walls so it's just going to the grid intersection and then make a decision left or right up or down then once that decision is made it moves in that direction doesn't continue moving to crash through the wall okay again if you're doing something like this do not make them the same this and this don't make them the same because the system gets confused and think that you're dealing with the same variable even though you're tracking them separately and you have separate variables tracking the position of each one of these if I change this to back to this I'm gonna have all kinds of problems and once I make sure I change it in the, in the program as well I'm gonna have all kinds of problems okay, so it's better uh, what sign was here the dollar sign yeah so it's better to leave it like make them different characters so this is my take on a Pac-Man-esque type of game this is the more complicated one there's a lot more gaps to take into consider a lot more grid points to take into consider which is why it's over a thousand lines probably this program and it's not even done because there are some situations the ghost will get in ghost number two this one will get in that I cannot get out of because I haven't um, represented it in the code. I haven't taken care of it in the code. Okay, so that's how you get do a random search in a grid pattern. You use like I call these ghosts to do a random search in a grid pattern. You go to the coordinate. Once you have the coordinate, you make the decision whether when you continue or go back left or go back right or go down or go up. That's what these little codes do. Once you go to that grid position, you make a decision. You make a decision whether you want to go up, down, left, or right. 
and the, this the, it's a and through this random generator so rand mod 2 I get 0 or 1 this one in this situation will continue in the direction it was going or it would if it's 1 it will change the direction back to right go right this one here it will go left or go right and so on and so forth okay that's how you do a pac-man like kind of game i was just testing it out and having fun thank you guys bye